the chilly fall weather has returned to southeast Ohio. It may have been cold, but things were starting to heat up in the Licking County League this past Friday. The Licking Valley Panthers traveled to Zanesville for a showdown with the Blue Devils. Both squads came into this one with a 3-2 overall record. Just a little over a minute into the game, Panthers quarterback Hayden Rogers connects with wide receiver Alex Phelps to open the scoring and give Licking Valley an early 7-0 lead. And that was just the beginning to a dominant start. Zanesville tried to respond with the ground game, but fumbled the ball. Licking Valley recovered and began another offensive drive. That drive ended with a sensational 30-yard rocket from Rogers that found its way right into the lap of Trent Clark. Just like that, the Panthers were up 17 to nothing with a little over three minutes to go in the first quarter. The majority of the second quarter saw Blue Devils quarterback Drew Doyle and his offense on the field as they tried to mount a comeback. That gave Licking Valley the chance to showcase another part of its team. Even with that offensive firepower, Licking Valley head coach Randy Bauman gives just as much credit to his defense for their efforts in winning this game. Uh, defensively, uh, I, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, we bent, but uh, we didn't break. Uh, you know, naturally, you want to shut them down, but uh, Zanesville's an explosive team running the football, and, and I thought we made them take little chunks at a time. Uh, just kind of waited for them to, to make a mistake. Doyle rushed into the end zone for a seven-yard touchdown with a little over two minutes to go in the third quarter. Then it was sophomore running back Cam Walker's time to shine. Moments after conceding that touchdown by Doyle, Walker went to work on the offensive end. He finds the gap in sales for 38 yards to increase the Panther lead, 26-7. Walker ended any hopes of a Blue Devils comeback with his second touchdown, making it a 26-point advantage with just over four minutes left in the game. The Licking Valley Panthers defeated Zanesville by a final score of 33-7. Reporting for WOUB and Gridiron Glory, I am Darius Sefna.